Hey, how's it going on you all? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Spider-Man 2. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar is actually an overlay which consumes your CPU and RAM resources in the background. Disabling that will help you drastically. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your PC's performance and game performance as well. Right after that go back to graphic settings and then click on change default graphic settings over here. Click on enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. You wanna have to make sure that both of them are turned on as they will help you to reduce the input and render latency. After that go back to graphics and right over here you have to click on the browse button and then go to the download location of your game. Simply select spiderman 2exe right over here, click on add. If that is already added, simply scroll down to find it in this list. Head over to options and then select high performance to ensure that it is utilizing your graphic card to render the game. Once that is done, simply click on save and close windows settings next step is the compatibility settings and for that go to the download location of your game once you're here scroll a bit down until you find spider-man 2.exe right click on that and then head over to its properties now head over to compatibility and then click on run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 then disable full screen optimizations and then run the program as administrator once again if any of these causes a crash simply uncheck this option click on apply Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you are here, scroll a bit down until you find local disk C and then click on create. Then name it Spider-Man just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Spider-Man 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It is a super beneficial and important file that I would not recommend you guys to skip it. So make sure to follow it till the end. Here I have left five simple folders. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority for yourself. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. This will help you to set up the correct dword value for your processor to improve the performance. Second folder over here is a RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries according to your RAM. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can choose among the preset and once again if that doesn't give you all an optimal performance you guys can reset it back to default right over here. Third folder is the Spider-Man 2 priority in which I have left three priorities right over here. Above normal and high priority as well as normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is the batch and program files. In here I have left three batch files and then two program files. Let's have the first one that is the cache cleaner. Simply right click and run this as administrator. This file will help you to clean all kind of temporary files off of your PC. Once that is executed, the second one is disable memory compression. Simply run it as administrator again and that will disable memory compression of your PC. That service consumes a lot of CPU usage and at most times you guys don't need that service running in the background. Third one over here is the USB power saving features and you're gonna have to right click on this as administrator. This will help you to eliminate all kind of input latencies on your mouse and keyboard. Next setting is the MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on this as administrator. Once this program opens up in front of you, you wanna have to find your graphic card in this list. Click on the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority, you wanna have to set this thing to high. Once that is done, click on apply and close this and that is it for the best GPU settings. Next one is unpack CPU which you have to right click on this as administrator again. And this software will help you to disable core parking on your processor. Over here, you wanna have to make sure that the system power plan is set to ultimate performance or high performance if that is available. And then for the core parking index, you wanna have to slide it all the way up to 100%. Click on apply and then this will make sure that all of the cores are enabled and none of them are parked to improve the performance of your CPU. Last one is disable unwanted services, which is a completely optional part right over here. I would recommend you guys to disable every single service that is given over here by simply double clicking on that. But if you guys use any Bluetooth device, 
replace all printer services leave these two and then disable every single one of them right away once again if you want to revert any of them back to normal you guys can use the revert registries folder to revert all of them back again once that is done simply close the fps back and now drop into the game for the best in game settings okay once you're in the launcher you wanna have to head over to settings and then you want to make sure to change some of these settings right over here for monitor i would recommend you guys to go with your native monitor and exclusive full screen window mode for display resolution you guys have to go with the highest available display resolution according to your monitor my monitor supports 1080p so i will go with that once again even for 2k monitors i would recommend you guys to go for 1080p aspect ratio should be auto and hdr should be a personal preference upscaling method if you have an nvidia graphic card go with dlss if you have an amd graphics card go with fsr 3.1.0 both of these settings will help you to improve your FPS drastically. Then for NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, go with On Plus Boost if that is available for you and go with AMD Anti-Lag 2 if that is available for your AMD graphic card. For frame generation, go with FSR 3.1.0 and for the dynamic resolution scaling, you guys can go with 75. Refresh rate should be your monitor refresh rate and VSync should be turned off. Then head over to the graphic settings over here and then for the preset I have set this thing to custom. Texture quality, you can go with medium or high. Anisotropic filtering, go with 2x. Shadow quality, I have gone with very low but you guys can also set it up to medium. Depth of field, turned off. Level of detail, I have set it to medium. Traffic density, low. Crowd density, low. Hair quality, very low. Ambient occlusion and screen space reflections, off. Weather, particle quality, low. Ray tracing, anything relating to ray tracing should be turned off fov i have kept to zero motion blur strength zero filmic green strength you guys can go with zero as well sharpness i have gone with 10 and bloom i have set it to on vignette on and chromatic aberration on other than that click on everything okay and then click on the play button and start enjoying your game so guys these were the best settings available for spider-man 2 to fix all kind of lags black screen issues stuttering and a lot more if this guide had helped you out make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button we are really close to 1000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.